Hello everyone, what's up? In this today's video, I'll teach you the best render settings for Unreal Engine 5.5.4 and this will create some kind of a really cool cinematic renders like this. Alright, so in this video, we'll talk about the best render settings in Unreal Engine. So first thing first, we have the scene. If you have already pre-made, good to go. Otherwise, you have to create. So now you have to create a Cine Camera Actor, which you can create right from here as well. So click here and you can find this called Cine Camera Actor. Simply click and the camera will pop up here. Now just simply lock this. So now we jump back to our camera view. So it will like this only. And now make sure you have to choose the cinematic camera angle. So let's focus on this angle. It's pretty, pretty fine for this kind of a scene. So I'll make sure this is my camera angle. And now I'll just make it a little different. So the camera angle should be like this. Okay, it's cool. So little zoom and fantastic. Now we have to do some very basic camera settings. Then we are going to the render settings. So first thing first, we are not changing anything in the digital film. And make sure we are not changing as well in the universal zoom. But also you are going to change some focus settings here. So simply turn this on, decrease the max focus distance. So let's change the focus to somewhere here and turn this off. Now in the lens settings, make sure the minimum is stop, make it to zero and going down, you can find the aperture, make it to like 0.5. So automatically the foreground will be blur like this. This is pretty amazing whenever you decrease this. I'll just make it to one because there's too much blur and now it's perfect. All right, now going down, you can find this option called no crop. Simply turn this on so that you get some cinematic crop. And right after that, we are going to create the level sequence. So simply click here, add level sequence. Save it anywhere where you want. I'm just making it outside. Get engine, content and uh, save it. And now we have this, close this and simply drag and drop the camera right over here. So you have something like this. This is 150 frames in 30 fps i'm changing it to 60 because i want a little bit slow-mo so automatically the frame range got increased now going down you can find this called transform button simply turn on keyframe going last simply move the camera just like this and just put it a little upwards and make one keyframe as well and now once you play the shot voila this looks perfect now once you're happy with your scene and the lighting and all now let's jump to the render settings so first thing first if you don't find out this you need to go to edit plugins I need to type something which is called movie render queue so you can find this options movie render queue simply turn this on and restart your Unreal engine then only you can find this option so now you need to simply click this button and you can find this movie render queue now you have this unsaved configuration just turn this on now you need to change something and you need to add something first thing we're not going to export any jpegs but yes if you want to export jpegs for uh, you know the thumbnails and many other steps then you can definitely turn this on but in this case i'm just delete this and we are going to add first anti-aliasing turn this on and here you can find two steps called spectacle sample count and then temporal sample count now if you want some motion blurs you can simply increase this and if you don't want any motion blur you can simply increase this now both are different so don't turn both on your system get crashed so here i don't want any motion blur so i'm just uh, making it here so i'm just making it 12 or making it uh, let's say 8 Okay, and now simply override anti-aliasing, turn this on and make sure don't change anything right over here. Now in the advanced tab, you can find this called render warm-up count 32, 32. Make sure 32 by 32 or 64 by 64 is pretty enough. And make sure use camera cut for warm-up, turn on and warm-up frames turn on. This will create actually a lot of difference. After that, we are going to use this camera over here. And if you have multiple cameras, you can simply use this frame close and you can simply turn this render all cameras and right after that i am going to use game overrides this will create some cinematic shots in your scene now there's a point there's a misconception and some ifs and buts that if you are going to use this console variables you get a lot of difference but in trust me in my case what i observe there, there is no a major difference between this console variable and the game overrides because in game overrides they have already included so much things which can give you cinematic renders but if you want to use console variable it's all up to you in this video i am not showing the cons console variables but if you want a dedicated video on console variables make sure comment down on console variable so that i definitely create so i'm just delete this console variables 
and settings you can find this option called png jpeg exr so you're going to use this exr compression should be piz this get a great result and also for the safe side i'm going to use the png sequence now why i'm getting this because png is far better than the jpeg and also you can check the renders are going good or not because in exr you have to import this in a separate software but in png you can simply open and check and last in the output section you need to change the resolution so here i'm just changing it to in multiply by 2 and now the ratio is 810 so i'm getting the 810 by 2 so this is the ratio and after that you have to change this frame rate because i changed it to 60 fps so change it to 60 fps and all right here we go press simply press accept and now you need to export the location where you need to export so if you click here this is your exported location where the renders will go here so here i'm just making three folders because i'm making a sequence so check a folder like 01 and double click in it and just copy the path so just copy it and simply click here and go to output settings and this is the output directory and simply paste this path select folder so now we have the different folder and the name should be all okay and press accept and press render local so yes guys that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed this short and simple video on render settings on unreal engine if you find out this useful then definitely subscribe like comment and share see you next time till then keep watching keep rocking world of vfx bye